It's been that long since I've been at the coast. I'm really not sure what I'm doing anymore. I didn't rush to get here for sunrise because I knew there wasn't going to be any. There's a smidgen of light and colour coming up in the sky, but nothing to speak of. We've got a fairly dark band of cloud on the horizon. We have blue sky above that. We have some rather gorgeous... Oh yes, quite like that. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a, an exposure. We have some broken down uh, wooden groins and we have a marker out in the distance. I've got the polarizer on, which is doing a fantastic job of evening the exposure between the sky and the cloud bank because it's quite blue now. The cloud bank is quite grey and the polarizer is just taking that off. It's fabulous. We've got some amazing waves. They're huge and it's only a five, just over a five metre tide. So I wasn't expecting it to be this good. It really wasn't. So I have the, um, the camera set up. Not quite long enough an exposure, I don't think. F7 or F7.1 even. 30 seconds. I have a polarizer, as I say, to even the exposure between the band of cloud and the brighter sky. I have a 0.6 grad, which I'm going to have to put another one on because that sky is now becoming considerably brighter. And the sixth stop at the moment, and I'm running 30 seconds on the clock. There's some lovely sea fret over there. That's really minimal. This is becoming less so. Let's see what this has done. Have we finished? We have. Just needs a tweak on the composition. That's it. And it literally was a couple of millimetres. I am going to stick another... Another grad on. That's the one. Another 0.6 because that sky is considerably brighter than the murky. Oh, look at that. That might be better. Now, because I popped the grad, oh, it's so murky up there, it's unreal. It's like it's a different country around there. I'm hoping it's not rain. Once this exposure has finished, I will show you what I'm doing. Good morning, by the way. <laughs> Getting all carried away with myself because I'm so excited. This is not going to be the easiest thing to show you, but up here, you may just make out that we've got a bit of darker sky or brighter sky coming through. And as I turn the polarizer, ignore the fact I've got filters on. If I pull it all the way around, that sky has now evened out considerably, which was the whole point of the exercise. I'll put it back up. I know I've got filters on, but you can see just up there, there is actually a brighter spot. I'm quite impressed with that polarizer. waves. Crikey Moses, luckily my bag was shut. The outside of the bag's got wet but it was protecting the inside. I've just moved compositions very slightly. I'm now shooting these just on their own, moving out to the left. The sun is starting to come through so it's about time for me to go around here because around here there's some beautifully textured groins that I want to get the light on. So this one I'm running at about 48 seconds. We're at F10, ISO 100, polarizer tear, six stop, and a couple of soft grads on, or a soft and a hard grad. 
Whew. Yes, 58 seconds, just blown the highlight. So I'm just gonna run that one more and I'm gonna stop talking to you so I can concentrate. I have the marker boy slam bang center slightly <laughs> the horizon's kind of on the third 2.6 grads soft and hard polarizer just although I don't need it anymore because the sky has gone completely gray we seem to have missed the rain which is really good news um, <clears throat> but I've got the polarizer turned on and I've got the six stop in I'm running at 25 seconds and we're at f7.1 the waves <laughs> I've got wet feet oh, I forgot to put my boots on it's been that long since I've been to the coast I forgot to put my boots in the van <sighs> I'm a nightmare this is quite a strange I don't know if it's a strange beach you might just be able to see there is a huge drop off so we're getting lots of pebbles up in the foreground i really like that it is so minimal it'll work perfectly as a square crop the marker boy is as sharp as i can get it i've got a little bit of white in the foreground because the as the waves come up it sits here because there's a slight hill for it to go up and then drops back into the ocean but yes, I think that will work as, oh, I'm trying to see if it will work as mono. Yeah, I think that'll work as mono and it might even work as a rather murky, <laughs> a rather murky um, color as well. So I'll tell you what, we'll take the six stop out and right, pop it onto Aperture just to see what we're getting exposure wise. So if I move that, ah, now, move it up to F18, I'm getting two seconds. I'm still focused. What I want to see is if I can catch a little bit of motion in the water and have like, because it's almost giving lines across the beach. Well, the weather is doing very, very strange things. You can see behind me, it's closing in all around us, but it's not actually coming here. And if I turn you around this way, we've got like a weird hue in the sky. So I'm just firing off some very minimal shots, concentrating on the marker there. Yes, which I really like. I'm gonna be aiming for square crops. Yeah, very minimal indeed. I'm going to have a go at the one over there because the light that side is different to the light this side and it does look like we're about to get rained on. And although the tide is going out, we are still getting oh, the very occasional, in fact, it seems to be picking up. I'm wondering if, wee whoa, that's me with wet feet again. I'm wondering if there is a storm coming in from the sea which is why the tide or the waves are coming in big time. Yes, that's exactly what I was after. It ain't over till the fat lady sings and I'm not singing yet. are the ones that I wanted to come to. We've got the most glorious light. We're still getting the odd wave like this one. 
that is coming up just past this first groin and then the waves trailing back oh now that is beautiful i've got a really sorry i'm getting excited really really dark sky and we're just about i think to get very wet a really dark broody sky got glorious light on the groins got beautiful streakiness of the waves and just like that the light's gone but i think i've got the image that i came for now I've now the waves are coming in really nicely i'm just going to keep shooting i just i can't speak i'm that happy there's definitely something about sea air that fills you with energy and a sense of well-being so give me a few minutes to finish faffing off here and just to enjoy the moment well that was an absolutely tremendous morning and it is now about half past 10 i think and i've got dry shoes and dry uh, socks on so i'm ready to drive home the fog has come down so thickly there's not actually oh, enough of a contrast to make proper images it's bizarre because directly above us is blue sky but everywhere else is just fogged out it's really random it's sea fret i'm guessing that it's come in from um out on the ocean but i was shooting the last few and it was almost as if the images were soft they weren't they were perfectly focused when you zoomed in but there was just no light to give any contrast whereas in woodland you use the fog to separate the background from the tree or the subject that you're shooting in the seascapes you actually do need a little bit of light as well otherwise you just with the groins i was just getting a, a black lump of wood surrounded by fog but i think some of them worked so thank you very much for coming along i hope you enjoyed a little trip back to the seaside i feel completely refreshed and raring and ready to go again so thank you for watching and i'll see you all next weekend who knows where i'll be next weekend because i sure as hell don't Bye for now.